Hello and welcome to Back to Game Curious from HorribleNight.com. I'm Justin Lacey. Today's game is Volume by Mike Bithell. Um, you might know him from Thomas Was Alone, uh, which was an incredible uh, story-driven platformer um, that, I don't know, it, it, when I think of him now, I think of just minimalist game design, but deep game design. The, the story to... Thomas was alone was uh, blew me away and uh, completely surprised me, especially not knowing what to expect from how that game came about and how it looked. Um, so he's been a developer I've kept an eye on, and when he announced his new project, Volume, um, I knew right away that I was going to play it, uh, no matter how it turned out. Uh, I do know that it's a stealth game, and it's been compared to, and I think he's even compared it to kind of the Metal Gear uh, VR missions. And uh, beyond that, I don't, I don't really know anything about it because I wanted to remain ignorant and uh, enjoy it for the first time. Um, and we're going to do that right now. Hopefully enjoy it. Start. All right. We're playing on PC. Uh, this game just came out uh, this week. And I believe it's available on PC and uh, PS4. Uh, coming soon to Vita. And uh, let's get going. Story... What is going on with these? So there's the core story. I'm trying to... Okay, I can't actually scroll between the local online and staff picks yet, so... I've just got the one option, so... Probably a good thing to start, right? I also know what Andy Serkis apparently does a voice in this game. The voice acting in Thomas was Alone was kind of one of those factors that uh, put it on the map. Like extra like production values I don't necessarily expect from a simple looking game. Long slang! And I kind of just expect this game to be tight. Like it's like, like I said, I think he I mean it's obviously got more of a more gra more graphics to it than Thomas was alone. But um you almost get the idea that he wants to focus on gameplay mechanics and build out from there. So probably won't be much fluff. hours earlier in the simulation. Not a nice person, this one. Identity obstruction mask activated. Uh, uh, assets loading. Uh, Actually, reminds me of a... Okay, 14 files missing, 2 files corrupted, minor errors located in source code line 700. He was in Thomas was alone. Hello, tutorial 1. Uh, of course. Loxley? I like that name. Sorry, I'm being rude, aren't I? Not at all. Welcome to the volume. I represent oh. the current high bar of Gisborne Industries training technology. Full volumetric projection in a 31 by 31 meter square. You've used a virtual training environment before, I assume. You're getting, uh, uh, but, uh Assassin's Creed 1 uh, flashbacks. Rob, by the way. Hi, Rob. Rob Alan. Alan. I can assure you that artificial life solutions took great time and effort in focus testing my name. Uh, Alan was arrived upon after many <laughs> months of market research. Alan's your buddy. You know Alan. Of course I know Alan. I love Alan. Etc. I get it. Okay, Alan. Let's do this. I like Alan. Do you like the color? Uh, beautiful. I'm capable of showing 16 I don't need to commentate. Colors. <laughs> They're handling it for me. You see me like weapons. Well, there wouldn't be much of a military training simulator if I didn't, Rob. These first few environments are focused on movement and evasion only. We'll get to the guns later. Awesome guns. No rush. We're good to go. Awesome guns. Yeah. Yeah, totally uh, feels like the initial simulations, uh... Assassin's Creed a little bit. What do we got here? Let's go and explain movement here, but you see what's necessary. So we're gonna have some witty writing to complement the witty dialogue. I'm all for it. Hey, we did pretty good there. Probably could have completed it faster. The bar is eight seconds. Whoa. Music's almost giving me journey vibes. Hey, let's uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just fucking around now. Interesting looking room. Go, go, go. 
just want to see what happens if we beat it fa so we beat it faster than the par. All right. Does it mark it as anything? <laughs> Look at the leaderboards, though. All right, anyway. <laughs> Diamond in the rough. Aladdin. Anyone? All right, we're just moving around. Oh, man. And the, the tutorial design in Thomas was Alone was also pretty damn awesome. Didn't, didn't treat you like an idiot. Obviously meant to represent pricey possessions. So was... <laughs> Alright, collect the gems to open the gate. Oh, that's the X button. A little whistle. What's that? That's the reset button? <laughs> That'd be, well, that would be why. X is whistle. Uh, might as well open that. I'm not finding a run yet. Nope. happy about picking that one up. What's this? That's going to be the exit. That's his natural rock walk. Honestly? I wasn't sure I'd make that happen. <laughs> Pressing on. Hey, there's a dude. You're picking this up fast. You've got previous experience, right? You've been a Gisborne employee for a while. You could say that. Well, the next environment... Guy of Gisborne? Loxley? But it looks like you might be beyond that. Robin Hood references. Left and right. In my employee database. Standard guard training, right? Walking back and forth. Keeping an eye on the family jewels. Yeah. What else have you got? I tend to work a bit more... Subtly. Oh, infiltration. Knew it. Probably black ops, bond type stuff. <laughs> but that's why you're not in the database. Stealth. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, on one this. hand, the dialogue doesn't go the with the style of the game, but on the other hand, it like perfectly complements it. So, simulated stealth. Perfect. <laughs> uh, that's not perfect, but Which is a really cool the skills you'll combo what comes that next. was also in Thomas' Thanks. Alone. Let's see how many times I can bring that up. Right, you don't want to talk about what comes next? Not really. Oh, I can move while he's talking. I know bits and pieces. Hundreds I'm of enjoying the dialogue too much. Up and down the country. They say it's the biggest private military spend since devolution. Uh, oh, I don't want to cut him off. Check your point. I huh? know bits and pieces. Good. Hundreds of volumes installed up and down the country. They say it's the biggest private military spend since devolution. Did it restart that one? Yeah, I think so. Stop. Palm will see if you... Oh, okay. Press and hold, left trigger, sneak past. Oh, so we're going to crawl against the... Up and down the country. They yeah, say it it's the biggest private military spend since devolution. All right. All right. Secretive. Like Bond. Architects. You're good. Which What's weapon on the would ceiling? you like simulated, sir? Uh, none for now. So how these guys relate? Like, who am I and why am I here? He seems to know what he's doing. I don't know why he's talking to the AI yet. Shit, I didn't really read that. <laughs> oh, press A. Alright. Got nervous. Wouldn't want to get caught. I mean, especially with all the dumb mistakes I'm going to make in a little while. Is that patronizing? Checkpoint. Alright. Easy enough. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. So I'm gonna go here. Can you get it? Nope, you can't get across. Do this the long way. Sorry, ahead of time for the random accents that, that I employ. More viewers. More viewers. Yep. Yep. Edited. Oh, okay. The what the real name is. Edited, okay. Breezing on through. What do we got? Returning to patrol. Three volume entry soon as though the flushable toilets are important to create a sense of presence. Wow. That's pretty funny. I'm enjoying researching these heights. I'm going to find data lake to each location to simulate. Better for you for context should help set the mood. 
from all the fake theory of all stories searching origin of my kind. AI is like me. It's fascinating. I'll bet some snippets of fightings on that too. Be curious to see what he does. Because you almost, I mean, anymore you're expecting these stories for, um, for the AIs to always turn or, or get fucked up. So I have a feeling it won't be that straightforward here. Making some noise. Is this enough noise for you? Nope. That's not enough noise for you either. So, we're on the tap. Oh, good. We found the exit with before we needed needed to, or solved the exit before we needed to. What's out there? Which way is he gonna go? Oh shit! Have another guy with that nice. <laughs> hey, turn that corner quick. I liked. I was about to come. Yeah, right there. I, I like how the. Uh, Exit makes itself known. If you were out there, I am armed. Did I see something? Got it. I wonder if it'll always reset me that quick. Who's that guy? Oh, he's the banker. <laughs> if you read before you talk, you'll answer your own jokes. Pretty brisk so far. Should be interesting. Target lost. Well paced. Didn't expect anything less. What do you got here? Text. Pawns can patrol. Okay. Clever little pawns. No, no, you didn't see me. Shot. Right. Nice. Quick restart. Still kind of missing like a run or a rush. Oh, I could still do that. All right. Because I really didn't have an option when he ran out of that corner so quickly. All right, I'll just follow this dude. Hey, could you walk a little faster for me? A little faster for me. Flush the red toilet. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all. And flush the toilet again. No, I'm not risking it. Is it telling me a story? What? Has it been telling me stories? Welcome, starter map, starter environment, tested version, support to AI, the banker made incredible amounts of money during the war, investing in Kobe's new Gizmo and leave standing, basis fire in one of his offices, trade with Gizmo and you have the right to know whom to invest by helping Gizmo maintain his allies, the information on the list of our store here. Or maybe it's like an Ender's Game scenario of you think you're doing a simulation, but you're actually killing somebody out in the field. We could just flip around there. Where are these dudes going? Okay, there. I thought I was behind a wall. Quick restart at the checkpoint. All right, that is effective. <clears throat> My meat on. No, I can shift with the 
right stick. Just follow these pawns. No sudden movements, please. I don't want to boast, but... Yeah? <coughs> You know, I got out of, out of sync there. Oh. Did that other guy stop? Not sure how that works, but I'll go with it. What you got here? <coughs> My kind of guy. Paying attention to the height of those obstacles. It's kind of important. Because it, it just leans, it doesn't crouch. Yeah, I'd like a crouch and a run, but. Oh, now we gotta go all the way back. Or all the way middle. Pull it on through. Listen to the Baker's home. Yeah, see, that's... It's kind of creepy. It's based on all on a real room. locations. What do we got here? Rooms won't always have a convenient toilet to flush. Fortunately, you have the capacity to make noises unaided. You got the whistle. Oh, that was dumb. What's your, what's your plan to get out of here? <laughs> Returning to patrol. Okay. What's out there? Go, 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 go. Whoa. Ugh. Impressed with himself? What was that all about? Well, shit. He's gonna turn around. He's gonna see me there. gonna miss me over here. All right. Oh, got it. Oh crap. I'll put it maybe okay. interesting. I made it to the checkpoint. Feels like a cheap way to get through that. I should be able to climb over those or something, right? how that other color works. What's your plan to get out of here, though? Ugh. Oh, man. Ah. Ah. I was going to come around that way. I, I like just how simple and direct this game is. And it it's just like his other games, and there's just something easy to uh, digest about those. Shit, what is your... Oh, that was good. It'll be fine. Holy crap, that worked! I know you're still out there. I guess it... Because games are so complex anymore, and this game's no... I don't know, it's no less complex than other stealth games, but it's just communicated in such a such an effective way. Old money, so we have changed villains or targets anyway. So co-founder of Gisborne. We're allowed to run a small subsidiary. 
but continues. That ruthless staffing patterns. Okay. What are they training me for? There's gonna be. Let's do this. Middle of this game is gonna take a weird turn, right? That's not gonna work. I can't just... Oh, but I can't. I can't grab it. Damn it! Not fast enough. Ooh, could I have lived? Let's see if I could live. I'll try to do that again. Hey, I lo he lost me. Interesting. How? Oh. Nope, oh, it goes right back to normal. Alright, good to know. Because that was just freezing whenever I got caught. Pawns will just walk where you whistle, they also walk back. Well, yeah. They're gonna come over there. Freeze. You actually have a moment to kind of escape, but. That's fine, don't. Man. Ah, that's, that's exactly what they're looking for. Most patterns can be broken. That is... Uh, this is the first intimidating puzzle, anyway. I don't really have a plan here, though. I, mean, I guess, yeah, just disrupt it enough, and you've got an opening. Just stay tight. That's exactly what they're looking for. Yeah? Alright, alright. That's the first, uh, first one that kind of gave me trouble. Quick in the night, Queen's home was small than the one she enjoyed pre-war. Her London flat once belonged to a high-ranking government minister, and I was saying his riches remain. Okay. How's that? Makes noise? Probably. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's gonna come right back that way, though. It's quick enough, I guess. Got some emails. Map events, single agent. Multiple agents spawn in single locations. So you crash at that point, so let's talk about the simulation. The front of the agents. So definitely AIs will be a focus here. They found it, figured it, Patrick AI can find the program. He's stuck there. They got two other AI seeds out. Now they're multiplying 100,000 million soon of lockdown the servers are running on. So an AI is going to go rogue here. Interesting. It's looking right at it. Right at me, but... Should be like a goodbye, right? Oh, shit. He went the... Why'd he go that way? 
Oh boy. Go, 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 go. I was gonna say, <laughs> it was in his sights for a while. Alright, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. I think we actually hold it tight until one of the, these and follow them around. Oh, wow. And it timed out that noise just right. Oh, crap. He's going to come after me. Intelligent. Let's ramp, ramp, ramp it up, ramp it up. Up oh, security. Not sure why. I feel like we're we're getting close to some sort of uh, milestone. So I tried okay, to okay. access the yeah. employee database. He's talking to me. And it's not there. No. A bugle. I'm very sorry. Why can't I find <laughs> you in my records, Rob? Why can't I find any records? Or maybe Put your memories before activating my mask. Oh, oh dear. What? what? I, I reset you, Alan. But I've only just been installed. The applicants <laughs> arriving shortly. It'll be back-to-back -back shifts. Gizmon wants so many trained. I don't fully understand Alan, why. Alan, it's a little portal. It's May the first, twenty fifty-four. What's going Nine on? Nine years. Nine years. Nine years since Gisborne used volumes just like you to train his men to take this country from its people. Huh. So, I'm not cutting edge. <laughs> the database you're looking for hasn't existed he even for got a at it. about five years. I honestly hoped it would take you a bit longer to realize. I suspected something earlier when you didn't want a gun. <laughs> All my simulations need guns. The Aww. applicants you trained made heavy use of them in the coup. I'm sorry. Rob, I... I activated the witness contingency the moment I began experiencing database issues. Witness contingency. Page 79, paragraph 3. In situations where user identity cannot be confirmed, the AI will broadcast an encrypted record of all events on Gisborne networks. The user's identity is protected in line with company policy. I'm sorry, Rob. I liked you. I hope Gisborne's forces treat you with as much leniency as they're allowed. You think those old channels are still open? I'm not broadcasting. Oh, you're broadcasting, all right. This is cool. Not to Gisborne. Right now, at this second, you are broadcasting across the net to all of England. They're watching everything we've done here. If it's public, he'll see it. His squads will be on their way. I imagine we have his attention, but I kept our location out of the feed. They'll have to search hundreds of forgotten volumes to find us. But why? Why are you even here? It's kind of nice well, to be a little bit ahead of the AI. Locations for these simulations, right? Yes, associates of Gisborne. The, in my database is training environments for guards. I repurpose them for your theft simulations. Huh. Cross-reference those addresses with news reports in the last hour. Oh, that fast, eh? People are copying you. They're stealing the possessions of Gisborne's allies, <laughs> just like you did. Hang on, this is intentional. Are you with me? We're going to show England how to take it all back. All of it will equalize Gisborne's little estates. I was purchased in full by Gisborne. You have my attention Street. volume. I am, however, programmed to follow the orders of the most senior person in the room, which technically is you. I must comply until huh. the squads get here anyway. I'll do for now. Let's carry on. All right. That was pretty cool. Um, like I said, I thought we were close to a milestone. There it was. Um, well, let's get through this next mission and see see where things go. All right, pick up the bugle with A, aim, and launch. Let's put the projectiles where you want it. Press. Okay. I already forgot the command. The. 
How does it right trigger an A? Huh. The eagle can, of course, be set up midair. Okay. What the f I messed up. Now go all the way back. Show me the damn beagle commands again. <sighs> Fudge. I'm hitting everything. What the heck? Reset level. I said I thought it was A and right trigger. Pick up the go with A. Aim. Then launch with the right trigger when the I picked it up. A aim with right stick. It's just gonna make noise. That's cool that it ricochets, so that's Okay, so we can just get him to go where I want, which would be yeah. Oh, look at that. It's playing with the... That's interesting. With the, um, the shorter walls there. That's cool. Alright. So we got that. There we go. That's cool. I like the bugle. I like messing with AIs. <laughs> And that's probably not to tutorialize you too much, repeating oneself, of course, but Rube, Rob, you can absolutely press right trigger again after launching the beagle. You should. It's fun. It makes a great noise. It's really... Can we get it through there? Oh, this is cool. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Messing with you guys. Oh shit. Not fast enough that time. I didn't have a second step in mind. Oh, it's fine. Just chase me around here. Going. This wasn't the most elegant of solutions, but I like that. I like that. Let's see what we got here. So we're back with the banker. Banker's lawyer also has some interesting holdings. If you were to steal from her, I recommend doing so. So he's still running through his program here. Alright, so let's see what we got. Still got my bugle? No, I do not have the bugle anymore. So what else are you going to show me? Because you got it. The bugle is pretty cool, so. Huh. I think we'll, uh, we'll actually, we'll, we'll, we'll end that here. So, because that bugle is pretty cool, and it looks like we're getting into more stuff here. But, yeah. Um, I had a lot of questions at first as far as what the point of the simulation was and going back and forth with the AI and that kind of thing, but um, they're already making it pretty intriguing from a story standpoint. And I mean, even, like I said, basing the simulations on real-world locations. So um, the cleverness of the game uh, stood out right here at the beginning, and then each level's kind of building on the gameplay mechanics. Uh that you're using the level before and it feels really well paced and like I said really just minimal and and focused and uh, I'm sure this game will get complex as it goes on but right now it's super approachable super fun uh, and, and interesting and clever entertaining and it and it almost doesn't it doesn't need that entertaining side but that it's it's a nice addition and um, yeah 
Um, Mike Bithell's a pretty interesting developer and looks like he, you know, pulled off what he wanted with a platforming game for uh, Thomas Was Alone and is now doing the same thing for, for a stealth game. Wasn't what, really what I expected. I thought, you know, it might be more turn-based or something, but I, I like how active it is and the quick restarts are um, really helpful. Um, so yeah, this is Volume, uh, out now on PC and PlayStation 4, coming soon to Vita uh, from Mike Biffle Games. And this has been Game Curious from Horrible Night, and we'll be back with another game real soon. We'll see you.